okay guys it's already 12:06 so we are starting uh, sorry the time zone difference but yeah there uh, we are actually starting it's already been 5 minutes okay also chitam there there is one other thing that i think some of uh, my team couldn't actually uh had problem with deploying uh and some other issues uh if they have any issue they can just we can just ask chitam we can we can help you Exactly. um set up everything so just uh i think you think it's better to do it now or at the end of the session yeah so it's going to be like today's session uh, so first of all everyone join, who has joined here today will not be touching any code part we'll be just going through the introduction to icp and all of the like we'll be keeping it very two way interaction so that everyone can at least be aware of what exactly this course is about and then the for the remaining uh, the if someone has any problem in deploying and after this session we can keep it like at the end of the session if we can go through that okay yeah. thank you so much no worries okay guys so we are starting so i guess we have already not many folks that have joined us okay so hi guys uh, first of all a brief intro of mine so this is chetan i am currently a devrel at icp of north america and so what so the agenda for today's session that so just a dis disclaimer so you need not worry if you are typescript the like you have already seen that the headline of today's session is typescript 101 so if you are not a typescript developer it's not going to be an issue for you because we are not going to touch at least yeah okay so we are not going to touch at, at least today any typescript part but yeah if someone is new in typescript so from tomorrow onwards we'll be covering the very from the very basics of typescript and whatever the concepts of typescript are needed for completing the decade one decade typescript one one challenge so if someone hasn't registered here for the program that we are currently running so just go through it i have, you already must be having the link and you can fill the google form here after filling the google form just please provide your telegram username as well so because we are creating a separate group for the students for the all the devs who will be joining us for these sessions the six sessions that we are planning so this is going to be the content for the coming lessons lecture 1 is today and probably will be will try to cover it in lecture 6 or lecture 5 and the duration for each lecture is going to be around 1 1. 1 and 1/2 hour or something so try like try staying with us at the end of the session what exactly is the outcome for the session that like at the end of the session what you get guys are actually going to be achieve is that there's course on decade decade icp course is there typescript development 201 and 101 101 is the very basic one which was our previous challenge and this is the new challenge that we have launched 201 in this challenge if you submit your project then you get your certification decade certification which you can like which is actually a very valuable cert like it's certification as of now in the web3 market apart from that you will be getting 10 icp rewards for your submission so yeah this is going to be agenda and out after that if you are still going to stay with us for the projects for the project that you will be submitting so then there are programs so there, then there are grant for the projects grants up to $25000 and then you can go for the like incubation also so icp hub north america is currently running icp incubator program so uh, so i guess it's to totally clear like what exactly are we expecting out of this six series sessions so just try staying with us for a bit longer and then you will be actually be getting notice that how this uh, whole icp thing has been going on and you must have already seen the web3 market has been like hyped up with a lot of blockchains everyone claiming some everyone claiming something different than others but yeah it's like you will actually be able to notice that how icp is doing things differently and what exactly is the benefit of using using icp blockchain right now and how is it different from other blockchains so yeah so you can just go through our icp hub this is a twitter you can follow us and then you also have our discord servers or we are already we are available on all the social media platforms so you can just after the sessions if you have any doubts queries or something you can ping us on our discord server there are a lot of other challenges going on right now 
the current one is the idea thon if you have some crazy idea that you want to build upon blockchain and you want to inculcate icp within that icp is the internet computer protocol right so if you want to inculcate that within the within the project within the novel idea that you have so you get certain bounty prizes and all of that you can register for that as well so this is our idea thon that is going on right now so okay so i guess it's a lot of intro that we have already done so let's just at least go into the session so first of all why internet computer why the icp blockchain that we are using right now so anyone who has some experience in blockchain in the amongst all the people that have joined us who have been experimenting some stuff in blockchain or have any developer experience in blockchain you can just unmute yourselves and or even turn on your cameras that would actually be much better nova here is our campus like she has been leading western university a great support from nova like thanks nova for our organization on sunday as well yeah um i do have a little experience in uh, mm -hmm. web development um but okay. mainly in ethereum like mainly on like uh, on the ethereum platform okay okay nice nice is like would you like to share some of your experiences if you have built some projects in the web3 ecosystem any of your projects if you want to share uh yeah, so I would say I'm like a it's a beginner level level. I looked into it last summer, um, because I didn't really have anything to do, and um, I've built like maybe like two smart contracts, maybe, but like very simple ones. Um, okay. But yeah, I was hoping to learn more through like ICP. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. So anyone else? Anyone apart also from? Sorry, uh, Charles, want to tell about your experience? Yeah, Charles, go ahead, please. Yes, yeah, so we'll just have a, a little bit of experience on uh, solidity and uh, uh, like uh, uh, just know like a little. Yeah, so it's by uh, you know, sending like a, a coin to another coin, and uh, yeah, it's a little okay okay nice yeah nice thanks a lot for sharing your experience yeah so yeah. guys so we have already heard from isra and charles that they have been like they both of them but, shared about something yeah someone else yes Scott. can you see me hi scott yeah 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 you're visible okay i i don't see the full view so anyway um right so um been to a few hackathons in Wyoming, the famous Wyoming, Wyo hackathon. Um, and so we did a project there. Um, it was a two day challenge. Uh, we used Simba chain because it was their challenge. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't ready for prime time, their SDK and things. So it was a little difficult, especially in a tight time frame. Yeah. Um, and actually, that's that's gonna be my project for the ideathon, kind of building upon that, right? Um, and but um, but also recently, I was product manager and product owner at Dish Network for their blockchain endeavors. So we launched a uh, for their Boost Mobile brand. We launched a tokenized loyalty program. Uh, we worked with Cardano on that, and then okay. we also did some experimentation with blockchain as a service uh, through Kaleido. Okay, okay. Yeah, so definitely I would encourage, like if you like definitely have explored other blockchains, but ICP, like if you wanna put on your hands on ICP as well, yeah, off-chain we already know, like I often Denver you're a part of. So yeah, <laughs> ICP is also joining off-chain, like ETH Denver in the coming months. So yeah, all the team yep, is joining. Yeah. yeah, I'm the founder of off-chain Denver, yep. Okay, okay, nice. Thanks, thanks for joining us. So yeah, anyways, guys, uh, so we are going to like, I'll just, so everyone has just shared their like some bit of experience with I, like the blockchain web ecosystem. So before that, like uh, for all the other people, like who don't have much experience, like, like definitely we all are devs here, but apart from that, who don't have much experience into the blockchain web three space. So just to brief, like what exactly the problem that we are solving right now with ICP. Never, what's wrong? Yeah. 
So what exactly is the problem that we're trying to solve with ICP blockchain is? So there's something called as blockchain trilemma. Trilemma states that there are three problems that are currently right now in the market. Uh, first of all, there's decentralization, then there's security, and then third one is privacy. So all the blockchains that you have heard of, first off, the top layer is the like the blue chip coins that are rotating in the markets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and all of that. So they are some like Bitcoin was the very first blockchain. The it was mostly used for the transfer of cryptocurrencies, or we say as a means of sharing the tangible value it holds. So like it was the only in the 2009s, it was the only blockchain that was helping us with just the transfer of currency that we wanted. But apart from that, we heard like there were there were a lot of other use cases that cryptography as in whole has helped us. Like if we use cryptography in the best manner, so we can see that if cryptography and the ha hashing algorithms that it uses, so it has taken its applications in a lot of like in lot of other places also we can use this blockchain mechanism. So I believe since all of the devs here are. So you must have heard of the backend, like in the normal web two space, web two space, currently speaking as the normal Instagram, the Facebook and all of that, the applications that we use right now. So the authentication mechanism that we use there, if you have used something called JSON web tokens, like we, when we log in into some applications, so there, there is a session that is created when we log in and we log out. So you must be knowing that when we log in, there's like this whole authentication mechanism uses the concept of the early age applications uses the concept of hashing and JSON web tokens. And in the banking applications also, all of the authentication mechanisms you have seen right now are mostly based on the cryptography and the hashing algorithms that it provides us. So like authentication right now is being used in every part of the world. Like authentication is a basic need for applications, right? So the previous algorithms that have been written so you can see that cryptography was into existence a lot time back, but its actual potential came into market when Ethereum, Ethereum made its way. So Ethereum launched the concept of something called as smart contracts, which Ezra has shared with us. So smart contracts are nothing but like a piece of code, which helps us like you can, you can just think of it as like, let me just break it down into simple words. Like smart contracts is nothing but a piece of code which you can like, which are actually controlling yourselves, like the whole, the whole part of like the whole control of the code relies in the dev's hand, in the user's hand, rather than going your code on some backend servers, servers like AWS, GCP and all of that. So you're already aware, like how exactly, like this is the problem that blockchain and the whole web three ecosystem has been trying to solve. But there are some problems that arise, like when we try to inculcate these smart contracts in a piece of code, so there are some problems. First of all, there's something called as scalability issues. So these applications that we are building in the web three ecosystem has the, the prior issue that is going on right now is the scalability thing. And there's the security. And then the other one is privacy that all of these three issues are each blockchain is trying to solve one or the another issue, but no one is trying, no, no one is able to solve it complete. Some uses the concept of proof of stake. Someone uses proof of history and all of that. But like no one has tried to, so no one has been able to solve it completely. So like, uh, I guess till now everyone is clear, like where exactly are we on? Like if someone has any doubts till now, you can just raise your hands or unmute yourself. Like what exactly is the need of the R that we are using this blockchain ecosystem and how ICP is trying to solve it. I'll be, now we'll be going into that part as well. So let me just. Okay, uh, so till now, if someone has any doubts or queries, you can just raise your hands or unmute yourself. Anyone from the participants? We have Rahul. Rahul, if you are like Rahul, Navya, Thomas. If we are clear till now, just be with me for some time in the session and you'll be actually be getting, we'll be seeing everything will be in sync once we are at the end of the session. You can just unmute yourselves guys, or you can just type in the chat box if everything seems fine till now. Yeah, it and, is uh, pretty good. You the was... Okay, I guess you can go ahead. Yeah, Thomas, go ahead. No, someone else is talking. 
Yeah, Rahul. Rahul, you were saying something? No, no. I was just saying that um, it is uh, pretty much straightforward. We get what you're yeah. saying. All right, all right. Perfect. Yeah, so just, uh, okay. Yeah, Thomas, if you want to share something. Did you say the trilemma was decentralization? Security, um, security. scalability. Yeah. So okay, these, yeah, I, 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 for some reason, I, I heard privacy, but maybe I misheard you. But that's all. No, no, privacy, to... privacy and security goes in, goes in hand in hand. Like I'll just. Okay, no, no, that's good. Uh, you don't have to clarify. I, I, I just wanted <laughs> to make sure I, I misheard you. That's why I wanted yeah. to ask. But, no, no, right. actually, security and privacy thing goes hand in hand. We sometimes call it at security and privacy. So I guess privacy issue. You, I guess you are already. So anyways, guys, so this is the best resource like Learn Web 3 DAO has been doing great things in the blockchain ecosystem. So you can just, if you want to know more about the blockchain Web 3 as a whole, there's something called as Ethereum developer degree, the freshman track. I would encourage if you want to go through the, just through the intro part, if someone is a new here into the blockchain ecosystem, you can just uh, go through this first six chapters of freshman track. It's like very much theoretical. It's not going to be taking much of a time and you can actually get aware of what exactly is the whole scenario right now. And now coming to the ICP part, how ICP is trying to solve it. Let me just go into the. Yeah. So for exactly is ICP, the internet computer protocol. Internet computer protocol. So yeah, let, let, this is a theoretical part. I guess I'll just cover it and then I'll actually go the word by word how ICP is trying to solve it differently. So what exactly is the ICP doing right now? It is a transparent and secure blockchain network that enables developers to create and deploy fully decentralized application. So fully decentralized, it is doing something by the method known as canisters. Canisters are the like in Ethereum ecosystem. We we heard that we hear the term smart contracts in the similar way. ICP uses the term of canisters. So uh, like just nothing nothing much different. So each smart each canister on internet computer is hosted on independent version of the blockchain network called subnet. So here exactly this is the mechanism which ICP has been doing differently. So what exactly ICP does is that. So let's say this is a piece of code that we handle right now. Let's say this is one, like, let's just imagine one piece of code that we handle right now, the backend part of the code. So what ICP does is like ICP claims itself as a decentralized cloud. So first of all, what exactly cloud services are the popular cloud services that we host right now are the AWS, Amazon web services, GCP and the Azure thing. So these are the currently dominating ones that are definitely there are other serverless backends like you, you call it as cloud fair. And then there are other like digital ocean and all of that. They helps you like host your applications, but, so, but the only issue with them is that they are all big, big data centers relying like, ha, like deployed all over the world. But the only thing is that they host our, the, our data is going into this blockchain, like the database that we connected there. Our applications data is going into these servers, the big ser big data centers that are hosted by these big data companies. So what ICP does is that it helps us, like let's say this backend part of the code is going into the blockchain ecosystem. ICP divides the backend part into something called as subnets. So you, you must have heard the concept of sharding, right? Sharding is something that dividing your big chunk of code in like big chunk of anything that you use into some smaller segments and then hosting the segments into some like into different, different computers. So how these, how the cap, how we keep the record of this. So there's something called as ledger. So in each ledger, we keep the shard, the shard, the whole shard that we divide, we keep the ledger in all of the nodes in our ecosystem. So I'll be showing you what nodes are in the ICP. So this is our dashboard of the ICP. Yeah. So you can see this is the whole part of the, like, this is the part of the active node machines that are right now on the ICP ecosystem. So this is some of them are in the host and Tremont and all of that. So not, not nothing much to worry. This is in India and Hong Kong and all of that. So what these are the, let's say like the backend part of the code is divided into shards 
and these shards are hosted in the different node providers node providers are node providers are nothing like the, anyone can be a node provider they just need to have a big chunk of node machines and then they can be a node provider so these are selected by the like everyone knows the concept of miners and node machines and all of that so i'll be not taking a deep dive into that because this is going to be whole another segment but yeah so just think of it how icp has been doing is that it itself rather than dividing the data part the whole back end part of the code itself is divided by the sharding mechanism into these node machines so this is the all in all what exactly icp has been doing so icp so this is the cloud like this therefore it call, claims itself as a decentralized cloud right so now we will now we'll be going through the architecture of internet computer protocol so let's just go through very brief like i'll be not i'm not like sharing just going through complete theory part i just want to give an overview because anyways in the certification part it's not going to help you right but if we are having a complete knowledge that what exactly is the platform that we are using and why are we even attending the session so that's the reason i'm just going through the architecture and all of that part but believe me this is not going to be actually helping you because there is another set of things that we'll be using in our application so that is going to be actually the code part will be going to be very much different and yeah so yeah so this is the thing like right subnets are designed to be highly scalable and host the canister smart contracts efficiently each subnet operates con concurrently with and independently of other subnets so i have already told you right every subnet is stored on the ledger and each ledger is like ledger is completely shared with all of the node machines currently in the world which whatever node machines are active so this ledger is distributed equally with the like a whole ledger is being copied in the all node machines so if let's say all the if one subnet is running and if one subnet goes down we can actually extract information about from the other subnet and the whole ecosystem can be completely running right so deterministic decentralization i'll be not going through that it's not nothing like much different so chain cryptography the ck cryptography like we call it as ck cryptography so ethereum uses the sha256 algorithm if someone has heard of it is used in all of the like there is something called as ek uh, eka to like i am not keka256 or something i am not sure of the name keka is the one that ethereum also has been using and apart from that cardano and i am not aware of the polka dots mechanism that they have been using but yeah icp has been using the concept of chain key cryptography so chain key cryptography chain key cryptography is nothing like it is just as chain key cryptography like helps us in the creating the pseudo randomness like let's say you are creating and like if you are logging in something when you create the session of logging in by your internet identity so that internet identity itself is hosted on the shard and the shard stores your private and personal public keys like that your even your data like the login credentials are stored in the shard right so no one can extract out like the privacy issue that we were talking about like even if if they were if our public and private key were to be stored in some big data centers so we always have the risk that some data can be leaked out of that but if our internet identities the whole identity of an individual like i'll be going through internet identities a bit later but yeah let's internet identities are nothing it's just something as your wallet or like there is something called as like you have vault right in your bank account and all of that just think of internet identities as the mechanism to logging in into your user account which has your whole information if that itself goes into the shard you can just think how powerful this mechanism can be right apart from the back end you can actually store your every piece of data into that shard and you would be actually amazed right that icp does the cloud thing at the cost at the cost of 110th even more than 100th of the side big like aws and gcp the cost of using is that 5 dollar per gb per year you can just see the costing of storing your data in icp is so like so damn less right so this is the costing of the servers that is the right now perfect right so other thing is that you with icp if you join icp and if you go in future if you are trying to inculcate your projects with icp ecosystem so there the user onboarding is very different you can just go on the nns icp dapp nns icp i have shared with which actually you need to 
create your in, in, internet identities as well that I was talking about. I have shared the link of this in the chat, chat box. Yeah, so just go on this application that I have shared, go to the NNS and create your internet identities. So once you are logged, like you can create your own internet identity as well, which you will actually be using to host our projects in, in the coming sessions. So you can create it right now, or you already have the links and then you can, after the session also, you can create one for you. Right. And yeah. Perfect. So this is all of the thing that, uh, okay. So this is the intro part has already been done, right? This is the whole theory. If you want to go more deep dive into the theory part, you can just go, not an issue. And next part is going to the cycles. So cycles is nothing. So just in the Ethereum ecosystem, we use the concept of gas. Gas fees is something that you are, you are paying something like ICP tokens are the one that holds the like compute power. If you want to pay for the compute, you do it via ICP tokens, but under the hood, ICP tokens are using something called as cycles. So one cycles is not uh, something called in the 10 trillion cycles, you get out of one ICP token. So cycles are, is the thing that you will be actually be using. And after the end of the session, everyone of, if you are deploying your projects, we'll be sharing with some coupon codes. With that, you can actually extract the cycles and use it to deploy your projects, right? So just similar to the gas fees, there's something called as cycles in ICP ecosystem that you actually need to pay to deploy and use your application. Okay. So I guess uh, this is the intro part. Now we'll be actually be jumping onto the languages, like what all actually languages are being supported in the ICP ecosystem. First of all, just to be very much clear, the most native language that we recommend to use as a developer is the Motoko, which is the native language. Apart from that, if you're a Rust developer, it is going to be much easier for you. But since Motoko and Rust are a bit, are the languages with a bit higher learning curve. So we have already created, like there are different ICP SDKs that we have supported. One is in Python. Python, if you are a developer in Python, so you can build your smart contracts in Python. Apart from that, if you're a developer in TypeScript, you can use that as well. So this is this series of the sessions that we'll be hosting right now is going to be based upon TypeScript. So yeah, so, okay. So if you're not even a comfortable in TypeScript much, like if you're not much comf comfortable in TypeScript, so in the tomorrow session, which is going to be the coding from where we'll be actually be starting the programming thing. So that is going to, that is going to be the one that will be covering the TypeScript basics as well. So you need not worry, like whatever the TypeScript knowledge you need to have for deploying your projects in the TypeScript. So we'll be sharing tomorrow that as well. Yeah. Motoko is there, Rust is there, Python is there and TypeScript is there. You will, you can, you can just see that there's something called as candid. Okay. So just think, just let's just go through it once. What exactly candid is candid is the like candid is the Motoko is the one that converts our smart contract, the human readable language that the high level language of ICV blockchain is Motoko under the hood. It is getting converted into candid candid is the backend, the backend part of the ICP blockchains that is being hosted is converted into candid, which itself is a native language. So candid is an interface description language used to describe the public inter interface of a service in reference to like, we even just go through it, not like anyways, we'll be covering this as well in the coming series, not much of an issue. So the new ones that new SDKs that have been launched are Solidity and C++. So you are having a lot of options. So this is also another power of ICP that you are having a bunch of options to deploy projects. So yeah, not an issue. Candidate just describes how you can exactly yeah how you can and so Matthias has shared is that candidate just describes how you can communicate with your smart contract the uh, the canister like if you want to communicate with your smart contract so candidate is the one if you want to in communicate with the ICP blockchain candidate is going to be the one that is going to support you so just before like I'll be covering the other part as well so just before that I'm sharing you some commands guys so. You can just uh, go through these commands. This, this nothing like four commands that we will be not actually entering into the code part. 
but just before tomorrow session i would encourage you guys to just go through this tutorial and i'll have just run in in your ides like as rahul has like vs code is the one that if you want to use you can use vs code and you have the git pod or any anything else that you want to use so just go with this uh, react projects so run these commands and ha actually set up your project directories so yeah before tomorrow session if you can do that uh, it will actually be good because it actually takes around 15 to 20 minutes to set up these and have all of the dependencies so you can just go through them before tomorrow session i have shared it in the chat box so the project structure that you will be getting out of these commands is going to be in the mutoko so need not like motoko just to give the interface like how the project structure of like how the project structure will be looking here but uh, for typescript also we'll be having something similar project structure so just to get it just to get comfortable in that so just before like so that's why i'm sharing it today so this is the canister id that we are talking about like after the end of the project you will be getting something this is the front end of our canister that is going to be you will be getting and this is the back end part of the canister right so yeah so this is the, this like this was the whole part of today's session so now coming to the decade thing how de like decade typescript smart contract 101 so this is the one that you will you need to submit register for this is the challenge that will be will you will be able to complete at the end of the six series session okay so is um anyone here is, is my audio disconnecting So sorry guys, actually my internet just broke off. So sorry to drop up. If I'm audible, if you can just give a thumbs up or something. If I'm audible, okay. We can hear you. Yeah, if you're a Windows user, just uh, try using WSL. Okay. so once you are cloned with the like once you have cloned the icp the mutoko one part also just clone your typescript smart contracts so you this is the introductory video that like this is our co-founder like the founder of icp ecosystem the dom is dom is the one who has led the foundation he usually like he was amongst the pioneers in this blockchain ecosystem he was currently like he used he was a part of ethereum team and then whole out of that icp like this is a whole different story but yeah if you want to know more about the architecture of icp just actually just go on this video and then coming to the development part so just clone this repository by to uh, this is the one okay yeah so matias so you, you should definitely go for tos 201 i have just shared 101 because 
it was the previous one because, but it has lesser icp rewards so you should definitely go for 201 and we are we have set this six series session in the manner that at the end of session the 201 is the one that you will be actually able to complete but if you want to go for the 101 as well that is also your choice so clone both of the repositories this is the 101 one and then other part other one is the 201 the type shift smart contract and in that we'll be building the marketplace model very how, like how marketplaces are usually like marketplace something amazon and all of that are usually running the ui is going to be very simple but yeah the 201 will be having the crud operations and all of that how exactly you can actually build your host your front end and host your back end on the definity on the icp ecosystem so this is the typescript 201 this is the whole setup that you need to like you just need to have node installed dfx installed in your like uh, uh, okay so just before wrapping up the session anyone uh, like wants to uh, like i'll be sharing what exactly dfx is so dfx is the command line interface for internet computer right so uh, since in the similar manner we have npm and nvm for installing for helping us like take our javascript versions into our terminal like the v8 engine that the whole of the theory part is was for the and javascript in a similar manner if we want to over if deploy our applications on icp so you need to have dfx installed in your personal computer so this is the command that you need to follow to have dfx set up in your pcs so i'm opening that meanwhile if someone has any doubts or something you can just paste it in the chat box or even unmute yourself so dfx is the command line that you need to have actually otherwise we otherwise you won't be able to deploy your projects on icp sir there mm -hmm. For the support Are there step by step yeah. instructions somewhere. I'm sorry, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm sh I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it. Yeah, I'll be sharing the whole list of commands that we follow today in the in the Telegram group. Oh, so okay, so who all are? So just I'll be. Uh, I guess the Telegram option was created recently. So I will actually encourage, like if you can join the Telegram group that has for all the users that were currently in the session and in the. Okay, just give me give me one second. This is the group that you guys need to. Okay. Can you just uh, like I I don't have the permissions to add you guys directly here. So if you guys can share your Telegram usernames in the chat box. Meanwhile, I'm sharing you the commands for the uh, installing DFX. If you guys can share your Telegram users, and then we'll add you directly into the ICP master, the bootcamp members will be who are part of. it would be very much helpful if you can share it right now in the chat box so meanwhile i'm sharing you the command so this is the documentation guys documentation for typescript that you will be not be taking like actually at the end of the six series session you will be aware that how documentation has been made like completely fine it is really actually into development phase as well some of the bugs are there but yeah apart from that many of the things are already sorted here so you need not like worry worry about that it is you like you will be in some part of the in the documentation you will be getting to know that this is under progress this part is under progress but as of now for deploying our projects all of the things are already sorted so for, you can just go on the installation installation part okay we already have the telegram user names okay so this is the 
documentation you guys need to follow. So just go to this DFX version, like install this, like just follow this installation part completely. So for the Windows user, you guys need to have WSL installed. For Mac, you for Mac you you need to, you you can just run on your terminals as well. Otherwise, Podvan is the one that you can use. DFX like just after checking, like after doing the DFX installation, just check the version. If you want, if the latest version is currently the 18th or the 16th, sorry, the so 16th one is the current version that DFX is running on right now. So if you are getting that DFX version as 16th, then then it has been completely installed. Otherwise we have the discord server with us you can just post it there as well so yeah 0 0.6 16.1 is the that you guys need to have right so anyways i'll be sharing all of the commands in the telegram group as well okay fine guys so this was like today's session was very much short like we i didn't like we just didn't wanted that bombard you guys with like uh, since many of you will be having the first time introduction to the icp so we didn't want it to keep the code part and typescript part but yeah from tomorrow onwards the from tomorrow the agenda is going to be first covering the typescript basics that you guys need to uh, be aware of to deploy your projects on icp and after that you guys uh, so then uh, the hello world programs and all of that the further programs that the query like all of the chapters will be covering sim like simultaneously and then you will actually be cre will be actually be creating the hand on hand the marketplace will be completing by the end of the six sessions yeah all right guys so now we are open to the now we are open to chat box like you can just unmute yourself and we can have like if you can have if you have some doubts you can just you're open to say that yeah you're open to share yeah i have a question i i there's a couple of days where I won't be able to meet, uh, make it to these meetings. Uh, where are where are the recorded videos being stored so I can rewatch them? Yeah, so uh, Nova, we are already recording, right? Uh, sorry. We are recording the sessions, right? It is recording. Yeah. So okay. So we'll be get, we'll be sharing the recording as well. Uh, the but uh, we are not, we are not sure like we'll be hosting them on youtube as well but on youtube part is going to be a bit later okay so i guess uh, on youtube will, it will be coming a week later so that is going to be the only issue so guys the ideal time of completing the decade course should be around like the this this week is going to be the video series and after this like the apart from that like uh, one week more would be needed to complete the session like complete the claim the certification like one week for this series in which you will be actually completing the project and after the submission of the project if anything that you guys need to like uh, there there are some alterations that you need to like that you guys need to put it in your project to claim the certifications so that is going to be the one thing like it will be taking one another week to have you joined like so in total the two weeks is the ideal timeline yeah so one week training and one week building is the so there is no deadline right so the expectation here is that we are like two weeks should be the ideal time because after that thus we are going to launch programs for rust for the python like if you are able to claim the certifications in typescript you can actually get the certifications in rust and all of that and then finally the biggest launch would be the motoko one and it will be having only 20 like the like will be sponsoring the Certi like the certified candidates who will be, who are, who will be actually the certified ones will be completing the cohort free of them the moto that is going to be three months cohort where we will be taking the project from very basic to the incubation level so where you, where you can actually get your projects incubated and then go for the grants of around five thousand dollars and twenty one thousand dollars so that is a whole separate story right but the ideal time should could be around two weeks so try completing the projects and then Eventually, we have our way for Python and then Motoko and all of that. Yeah. So I have taken the Telegram usernames. So I'll be sharing the commands for the the ones that we have used right now. Also, so Charles has a question. Yeah. yeah, Charles. Go ahead. Hi. So uh, I don't have a Telegram account right now. So can I join later? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, just uh, okay. So you you are already on our Discord. Yeah, I'm on Discord. Yeah, so if you can uh, like you can 
ping me directly your, your, your telegram username and then we, you can like i'll add you directly from there as well yeah okay thank you okay no worries also guys uh, the we are going to be soon launching icp airdrop as well so we'll be airdropping some of the uh, airdrop icp tokens to wallets of every like creator internet identities before like uh, the airdrop is going to be launched very much soon like probably in the coming week or in the next week so definitely creator internet identities the link like be part of our quest follow us on our twitter and all of our social platforms and then the after the quest completion we'll be airdropping the tokens to the, the definitely the first first airdrop is going to be the developers who are joining along with us in the today's session so yeah just stay tuned for that and join our all of the community yeah. groups that we have so creating identities you mean wallets right yeah wallets yeah it is there a preferred wallet or so nns nns identity is the one that we encourage you guys yeah. the one that i shared okay. the link with you Okay, I, there's been a lot of links, so I'm not sure. I have to catch up. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'll be anyways sharing all of the links in the Telegram group as well. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, if, if you just Scott, if you just type ICP Internet Identity and Google search it, it's probably like one of the first links, and it's like a guide to um help you set it up. It's on exactly the, yeah. ICP uh website, I would imagine. Yeah, NNS ICP is the link that you guys need to. Put in your like uh, put in your Chrome browsers or any Safari. So you, you you can just type NNS ICP and you can actually get out of that. Yeah, Bashir. Uh, Bashir has a question. Yes. Yeah. First of all, thank you so much for this uh, amazing call. Uh, I look forward to the meetings today, uh, or yeah. throughout this week and learn, learning a lot. It's it's pretty high quality, uh, and uh, you know, uh, I'm from Nova at Western University, and we have a few students. That were not able to make it today, uh, but might be able to make it on other days. So what I was really, uh, I, I really want to ask you for a favor and just have like a to-do list of the kind of pre-work we want to get done um, before uh, tomorrow's session. And yeah, thank yeah. you so much for this uh, time. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks, Pasha. So definitely uh, the for the ones who have not who, who are not able to join today. So we'll be launching the recordings. We'll, we'll try to launch the recordings probably by in two to like one to two days. So that's not going to be issue. You can follow us through the two, two you, like tele, like in the, you can just, so if someone is left to join the telegram group, you can ping me directly on discord. And then from discord, you like, I'll be adding you into the, or you can ping Nova as well, or you can ping me. So I'll be adding you in the telegram group. So that's not going to be issue. Apart from that to do list, to do list is nothing just if you are able to like the, all of the links that I have shared, like I'll be sharing in the telegram group, just clone some projects have DFX installed and yeah, you are all set to deploy our projects in the coming sessions. Yeah. It's nothing apart from that. We don't have, yeah. Anything else. And, uh, did, did you say there will be follow on, I guess, courses after this, like for Motoko or yeah. So the okay. other courses, like I'll, I can, yeah, ICP master is the, our website. You can just ICP master dot yeah. So in these, our, the, the, there are, these are the programs. So I have like, I can share you. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, definitely Motoko is going to be taken by Ethan and Jonathan will be taking the TypeScript advanced part, which is going to be three months. Like these are the other programs. So you can just follow everyone here. Like this is the whole ICP master dot work. Like you can get all the details here. These are going to be the mentors. You can just follow along with us, like all of our social handles for any other information as well. So these are the programs. Like if someone is in the web two part currently and having like wants to make transition into web three, we have some separate programs for them. If someone is pro expert already on the web three, he has been pro making some projects. So this is going to be another program for them. So this, this is going to be spanned over two months. Yeah. So there are other programs as well. So this is the one that is going to on right now. Program three is the one that is going on right now. Yeah. So question, um, can TypeScript do pretty much everything that Matoko or Rust could do, yeah. or are there some nuance exactly. differences between the languages? 
where maybe TypeScript is limited compared to Rust and Matoko. Yeah. So guys, so like everyone at the end of session, usually the everyone has a similar doubt. So Motoko is definitely the most, since it's a native language, it is the most like, like uh, definitely ICP team is working on that. The, like it is the most promoted ones. If you are, if you want to build on ICP, but slowly the transition would be so smooth. Like uh, if after the completion of this TypeScript cohort for Motoko, it's going to be much similar. Like Motoko, it doesn't have like whole new different syntax like Rust. So Rust has some separate terminology, right? If someone is developing into Rust, but Motoko don't have much difference with the TypeScript. So eventually, if you want to scale your applications and go for the like some sort of grants as well, you can go for the Motoko. The transition would be really easy because TypeScript would like if you're comfortable in TypeScript, Motoko is not going to be like Motoko is going to be piece of cake for you. So yeah, so the transition would be so really easy. Like at the end of the session, after six CV session, we'll be keeping a very short part of on Motoko as well. From from where you can actually find the similarities between the TypeScript and the Motoko thing. So TypeScript, we are not going to be actually strictly following TypeScript. So there's some the, the dependencies, the SDK that we'll be using is Azel book. So Azel book is the one that has been separately written for importing ICP. So I Azel book has almost similar syntax to the Motoko. So depend if, if you're already working on the dependency, so then the Motoko is going to be very much easier. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for that uh, clarification. I, I've worked in yeah. JavaScript for over five years. So naturally yeah. I would want to gravitate towards TypeScript. Um, but yeah. it, it sounds like Matoko is not that far of a leap. Um, so yeah, thanks for yeah. that explanation. No worries, no worries. Thanks, thanks. Anyone has any other doubts? Also guys, I have actually captured everyone's uh, Telegram username, but if I am able to like, if I'm, if I have missed someone, just please ping me or Denova on Discord. Like if everyone is on Discord, right? Here, everyone is on Discord. If someone is not, you can just share here. I'll, I have already shared the Discord link probably. I'll share, I'll be sharing once again. Yeah, you can, if I'm, if I'm missing someone, you can just, I'll add them. Like you can, you can ping me on Discord as well. Yeah, I'll be definitely be sharing all the links on Telegram group. So how, how many uh, of these sessions have you done? Is this the first ICP master bootcamp um, or is this like the second, third? No, the, the, this is the full fledged one. This is the first one that is going to be the full fledged one. The previous ones were the very basics where we give a brief intro about as a book and all of that, but this is going to be a series of session. So you already know, like, this is the one that is the actually going to have a lot of information. So okay, we currently don't have, yeah. Any of the ones which are com this complete, this is going to do the very one. This is going to the first one, which is actually going to be having full information. This is a special channel on Discord for this bootcamp. I, oh yeah. So on like no, we are on we are promoting this mostly on Telegram. So if you want, we can have the discussion on Discord as well. So I can create a separate channel on Discord as well. If you are more you like if you if you use Discord much frequently. So by tonight we can have the discussion in Discord. Like you it's all it, it totally it's totally upon you guys where you want to have the conversations. If for any doubts or something, if you want, uh, also the ideathon is currently going on. The registration link is in the event section on our Discord. So yeah, you can just uh, register for that if you have some novel idea. Like Scott has been actually going on, like has been develop developing in other blockchains. So if if you have any other idea, you can just go for the dev post link. Anyone else as well? Okay, guys. Uh, so since we don't have any doubts coming and it's already been one hour, so we can wrap the session. Thanks, Nova. Just a quick. Thank you so much, Yitan, for time. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. So just before leaving, if you guys can turn on our cameras for a second, we can click a small, like small picture or something, just just post on our socials that this is the first cohort, and we just want everyone to be part of that.
if you can turn yeah. on for a five seconds, like it will be very much easy. Also, you can post it on your LinkedIn's and Twitter as well. Is anyone going to uh, East Denver? Yeah, so ICP team is coming definitely. <laughs> right. So um, there's one that here was. Yeah. I I will I was originally, but I had to cancel. Yeah. I, I might I might go to Crypto Mondays, the mm-hmm. which is February twenty sixth, because that's the high CP hosted one. But but after that, I'm just gonna fly back to my hometown. Yeah. Okay. Is anyone like anyone else? Uh, Isra Matias Matias is really active today. So Nitin Thomas, if you can turn on the cameras for a second. Oh, I cannot turn on my camera. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Anyone else? So, and I'll just one question though. Um, so, uh, would you be sharing the links for the recorded sessions in the Telegram link? Yeah, definitely. We'll be sharing it. Okay. Uh, so if somebody cannot make it to um, maybe one or two sessions, um, would that be acceptable? Is it? Okay. Yeah. So um, definitely, it's totally upon you. Like we encourage to complete the series by this week, by coming weekend, and then completing this project by another weekend. So fifteen days is the ideal timeline. But if you want to go at your your own pace, so it's totally upon you. So anyways, we'll be sharing the recording as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, just five second cheese, and we'll be clicking a picture. Thank you guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, let's you. see. Yeah, see you in tomorrow's session. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks. Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.